Alongside her husband, Mark, Nadia Swala has released a book all about the highs and lows of homeschooling and parenting. She's also, of course, one of the stars of Loose Women. Nadia Swala. Hello and welcome to Loose Women. <laughs> I'm so relieved twerking wasn't about when I was a kid. I look at it and I think, how exhausting. Why oh, okay. my birthday? <laughs> I'm cooking a lovely bit of chicken and I want a bite. Or yeah, you're not meatballs and I want. No, I am. You're I'm not bent. because you have chicken. Uh, 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 What's so good to meet you, Kay? <laughs> we all get another Kay. Hey, you could be one of my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> That was uncanny, the whole Kardashian thing. It was like, whoa, you really look like Ugh. it. Nadia and her husband, Mark, join me now. It's great to see both of you. Congratulations on the, on the book, which is about homeschooling, but also generally about being a parent. Yeah, well, the first the idea first came to us because we do a podcast called Confessions of a Modern Parent because we find, that, I don't know if, if your viewers do, that actually parenting teens can be so lonely because everyone stops sharing about all the things that are going wrong once they become teenagers. So that's where it first started. And obviously, our children haven't been to school now for five, five, five six, six years. years. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, so we've been thinking about it for quite a while. And then, of course, when the whole world was plunged into homeschooling, we thought, let's write the whole story. And it's it's it very much goes through our story of our education as yeah. kids first and then through. Rags to riches. Riches to rags. <laughs> yes. So the kids, I mean, what was the reason for you homeschooling both of your daughters? Why did you decide to do that? Well, firstly, um, our youngest got to the point really where she had school phobia. It was a nightmare. She wasn't eating. She wasn't sleeping. We were in that real cycle of the private school cycle. We say, don't we, that our biggest parenting mistake mm. is to send our kids to private school. We regret that hugely. Now, we are not anti-school. Most kids in school love school, and that's an absolute right place for them to be. But some children struggle with it more. And, and Kiki really was. She was a summer baby. She was a year younger than everybody else. She wasn't ready. It was a highly academic school. We were on that cycle of, you know, <clears throat> pick them up from school, then, then you know, extra lessons, extra yeah. tutoring. Mm. She was six and a half. Yeah. And we just we just felt like we were just on this treadmill and there was a shadow not only over her but over the whole family. Yeah. As soon as and then one day a tutor said to us, Have you ever heard of homeschooling? We said, Is that a thing? Because we didn't feel we could just take her out and put her into another big school. So initially we just did it to, until we could find a different school, a school that mm. fitted her better. But then it went so well mm. that here we are. <laughs> five, six years later. Sure. Do you think lockdown was easier for your girls because they were homeschooled anyway? Or does that did that make any difference? Well, there, there was a point where Maddie came into the kitchen at the beginning of lockdown and said, Dad, Dad, they're calling our life quarantine. <laughs> and, and it was quite funny, you know. And, like, Nadia went upstairs to talk to Kiki and you sort of woke her up and said, you're not going to believe it, Kiki, but the world is homeschooled. <laughs> I mean, the look of, of amazement on their faces was sure. remarkable. That's not to say it wasn't difficult for them no. because a lot of people think homeschooling is about you set up a school mm. in your home, following the curriculum mm. to the same hours of school, which actually you don't. It's incredibly flexible. Mm. And if we go into another lockdown, guys, where you don't, you, you, your kids don't go to school, our top of bit of advice would be don't set yourself up as a teacher because no. you're not. Right. You're a facilitator. So that's what we do. Yeah. They've got groups that they go to. They have tutors that they share with other um, homeschoolers because a lot of people think that homeschoolers are very wealthy people. I don't think I've ever met a wealthy homeschooler. They have to find ways to share tutors, mm. to, to share skills. I mean, there's and a, there's it's a there's big a, community. There's a lot of logistics. Yeah. But it's not yeah. just financial logistics. Yeah. And did you two find that you were always in agreement with this or did you have slight sort of discussions? <laughs> we had another trick to our marriage guidance counsellor, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it was a dramatic <laughs> moment. I mean, I think when, when we started with Kiki, Nadia enacted this thing called de-schooling at which point my head almost exploded. Yeah. So I, I ordered whiteboards, I ordered chalkboards, <laughs> I ordered everything from various <laughs> online stores, textbooks. I, you know, I dressed as a teacher, I even put a shirt on. <laughs> I mean, you know, I was in a, a total state, but then sort of gradually across time, you know, the de-schooling and the decompression worked for us as parents. And then of course you get back into the learning. It, and that's the major thing in lockdown is take the stress out of it. There's no real urgency. And that's what we were feeling for many parents at the beginning yeah. of lockdown. And, and we, we talked to a lot of parents whose children are bullied at school. And mm. that was the case for our older daughter. And the thing is, there's often it's often so difficult. People don't think that these problems get resolved. 
And for people to know that there is an option mm. if your child is so unhappy at school is a, is a major thing. I mean, there's there's tens of thousands of people now that homeschool. But as we always say, we're not saying, oh, everyone no. go out and homeschool. Sure. We're not. No. School is the best place for most kids. I call it not complimentary learning, don't we? Yeah. 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 No, absolutely. Learning. And the good thing about the book as well, it's got lots and lots of tips, not, not just about homeschooling, but just generally. Yeah. Because when, yeah. when kids are at school, you've still got to help them with homework. You know, you've got to get that balance right, haven't you? Absolutely. Well, exactly. And I think, you know, I, I'm, I, 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 I'm amazed that 70% of people said that they got to know their kids better in yes. lockdown. Yes. And lots of people want to hang on to a bit mm. of the golden moments that they got in lockdown because there were some for families. Families spent more time together. They connected more with their kids. So we talk about that in the book as well, how you can, how you can complement a full schedule because kids are so schedulized. And right? dive into their passions, dive into their music, their computer games, their films, because in everything there's an opportunity to learn. Yeah. Sure. No, that's very... And you've got... As long as you get the balance right, it's about balance, isn't it? Absolutely. And I know yeah. just now it's quite difficult for them all to mix with their friends. But, I mean, yeah. your kids still socialise with their pals, you know, that because oh, that's absolutely. one thing that you have to make sure that they don't miss out on, I guess. Yeah, I think that's the thing that a lot of people worry about. What happens? Are they, are they, all, are they all friendless? What they have is a really diverse group mm. of friends because they meet friends in very different ways. Mm. So they have friends of different age groups and actually their social life has made Mark and I feel like enormous failures in our social life. Oh my it? god, they're so... the busy, busiest I know. Yeah. yeah. I mean I have to say, initially I went out sort of looking. You were sort for of friends. no, you were like a speed dater, weren't you? <laughs> She'd sort of stand in playgrounds and look for likely partnerships. You know, no, it took a bit of work in the beginning, but I got them signed up to lots of different groups and they have a, they have a great friendship group, both of them. Oh, it's fantastic. It really is. It's a great idea. It works for you. All kids are different. All children exactly. are different. And what's working yeah. for one isn't working for another. But exactly. it's, it's exactly. honey, I homeschooled the kids and it's out right now. Thank you both so much. Great Thank to you. see you. Thanks, Thank you. Lorraine. Thanks, Lorraine. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations, and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.